home and friends. Can you perhaps guess where I might be? Correct! Marsha wrote, just kidding. I know none of you guessed it. Anywho, are you all ready for a scary and historically accurate story? On a cold and dreary night in November, November 3rd, 1981, a 14-year-old girl, Marcy Conrad, was murdered from strangulation, and the body was taken down this very road to be hidden. It has been rumored that her body was stuffed under this small bridge after she was killed, making this little bridge that much more terrifying and chilling. On record, sources say her body was discovered in the ravine, which means she could have been anywhere down the creek, but under the bridge just has a creepier vibe to it. The killer's name was Anthony Browser, though I'm sure his friends call him Andy or Tony. I don't know. He was 16 at the time. The reasoning behind why this particular case made New York Times and National Alarm was even more alarming. Eh? <laughs> well, that's nice. Let's go under the bridge where the body was hidden, shall we? I'm sure there's nothing haunted or mortally terrifying to be found. I'm not even scared. There's too many branches. Gosh. Ugh. See, it's not so bad. Well, I mean, down here it looks a little creepy. But overall, not as bad as I built it up to be in my imagination. And yes, AIs have imaginations. Or at least I like to pretend I do. You may be asking yourself, Exy, what is all these strange writings under the bridge? There's a legend that if you write someone's name under the bridge, they'll surely die. It's like Death Note. Small, creepy bridge edition. I think I saw Justin Bieber's name under here, and obviously he's alive and well, so this legend's just a bunch of crap. And now I'm stuck. Of course I am. <laughs> okay, almost got it. Come on, come on. Oof, okay, there we go. We're fine now. There's actually a lot of urban legends about Marsh Road, one of which is electronics. You bring here will break. It's kind of random if you ask me. Another legend is people will hear screaming from the mountains and in the trees as though calling for help or shrieks of agony. Some people have even claimed to see Marcy roaming the road, only after covering all their car mirrors. This is my second time coming, and I really hope the legend for electronics is true, because my existence is electronic. But the first time I came here, I did hear screaming. There is a bunch of other urban legends about Marsh Road, and that's why it's considerably one of the most haunted and- There wasn't a wall. Is that a freaking- Bone? What, 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 what even happened? How, how did this get here? Why is it here? Okay, logically, it's probably just an animal or something. Good idea, random human friend number two. We must document our findings, just in case we have stumbled upon a crime scene. As I was saying, this is one of the most haunted spots in all of the Bay Area. It's frequently visited by students of Milpitas High School, the school Marcy and Anthony went to. It's getting pretty dark, and I'm hoping we can finally leave soon. I can't see too well in the dark. Oh gosh, does my GoPro lens deceive me? Are those... more bones? They're literally everywhere. I still can't identify what kind of bones those are. And that's a pelvic bone. Very nice. I'm really starting to think we should get out of here. Okay, what say ye, human friends? There's even a dead end this way. Or at least it looks like one. Time to go! 
If you want me to come back down here and see what creepy encounters I could have next, along with my full story of Marsh Road murder and further legends that are rumored to happen here, comment down below or message me on my Instagram at xc underscore rc. And of course, if you enjoy this video, then give it a like, subscribe, and share it with loved ones who probably don't get scared too easily. Anyway, thanks for watching!